Greetings comrades, Soviet Gaming here. Today we are doing Depths of Time 1, Peaks of Time, Voyage of Wonders, Peaks of Time Adventure and this video is sponsored by AFK Arena. So now when you go to Peaks of Time you see the Wandering Balloon tab over here and you will get, I guess, all Voyages of Wonders in this tab which is pretty cool because they were pretty fun. Let's see how it will go. I think this Voyage of Wonders was released back in the September 2019, but look at the rewards. We have some emblems, we have some scrolls, and we have some uh, blue shards and gold. Not that fantastic, yes, but let's take a look at the actual adventure. We have to do it anyway, right? This was one of my favorite Voyage of Wonders adventures back in the day, because you travel between time, past and present over here, so whatever you do in the past area over here will affect the map on the right in the present so you gotta be smart in order to unlock all the chests and i don't remember what to do so the first thing you want to do is go to the portal and go to the past because you can do anything here in the present after that you want to step on this village that will allow you to remove the trees over here in the present that will allow you to get the relics and the chest and uh, yeah you can take those guys out or you can ignore them it's up to you we will actually take them all down because why not and as far as I can see, the enemies are scaled to your level here. So this is just like your normal Voyage of Wonders adventure here. It's not peaks of time where you can out-level that stuff up. I think it will scale. Let me know in the comments if it was different for you and it's not scaled. Maybe I'm just that lucky. So in this peaks of time Voyage of what peaks of time adventure, uh, the relics are being dropped by the enemies and there are some underground. So you can pick all of those, right? As always, for the relics, you can go for stuff that you want for the basic setup nothing special about this fight and for the team use your main core team it's up to you uh, i use my normal team that i use for the campaign and they work pretty well also if, if you have troubles guys you can use mercenaries you can hire someone cool and they will help you to plow through this journey so right we took all the enemies out now we have a bunch of relics here be mindful though when you'll be taking those relics from the enemies that they will drop they will close the forest here that forest will appear here again so instead of taking those relics, we will go back to the future, boom, and we will go take this relic. Yeah, for me, this intelligence one will be the best option because I have so many mages. We will get this chest, this chest, come on, yes, and that chest as well. Alright, and from here, we might want to go push a little bit in the future. Otherwise, the past will be ruined. So yeah, while we're here, let's go take this chest as well, because it's uh, our for taking, right? And we can take those guys out. Taking stuff in the future don't really affect the past, so you can safely pick up wherever you want. I will go for speed. There we go. And we got access to another portal that will lead us to this sector of the map in the past. Before going there, though, I want to go to the past and get some of those relics. I won't get all of them, I'll get just some of them, so I'll be able to pass over here to this area. Let's go back. So I will take this one, let's go with attack. I will take this elite enemy out, we'll take his relic, sandstone, that's really good, guys. You see the forest appeared here, but it doesn't matter anymore because we collected everything that we needed. Uh, let's go for defense, I guess. Boom, more forests are growing. We will leave this relic intact, otherwise we won't be able to pass later and we will get more intelligence based damage. Boom, there we go, we still got the passageway, right? And since we took this chest over here, we can safely take out this enemy and take his relics as well to get stronger. We need to be stronger, right? And we're getting the last relic over here and the forest grows, but if we would take this one, we wouldn't be able to travel further here. So. Let's go back to the portal. Now, guys, let's go and take this crystal chest. Uh, in order to do that, we will go to this portal over here. Teleport here. And we will have to burn this thing up before fighting those guys. That will put this village on fire and those guys and those forests will burn. Let's destroy it. Alright. Everything is burning down and as you can see, we got additional fires there. He is really unhappy about that, but but we can go back and take the crystal chest now. There we go. Gotcha. We got 30 emblems. Since the fire is burning here, now we can't move on in the past. We will go into the future and go to the next 
portal. Going into the portal and teleporting all the way back into the past, taking those chests, because why the hell not? Killing those enemies, taking his relic, uh, let it be, I don't know, accuracy maybe, and crit rating. Taking another chest, there we go, we got it. Taking this guy out to get extra relics. Let's go for backline heroes damage. And now we can either push here or here. We will get those chests in the past, why not? So what we'll do right now, we'll kill this boss and that boss. But to do that, we want to kill the elite enemies first to get our relics and get ready for the actual boss fight if it will be hard. I don't think it will be really hard, but let's do it the right way, of course. Okay, with those guys out, we got some legendary relics. We can go straight for this guy, but if you're weak enough, you're going back to the portal. And you're fighting those guys over here as well to get more relics. We're getting some energy regen. Actually, it's pretty simple from here. Oh, we got a Moonstone. Sunstone plus Moonstone is really good, guys. This is one of the best combination of relics. Let's get the Hunter's Grasp and the last elite enemy, guys. All of those are not good, but since we have Nemora, we'll get a healing boost. First, let's go into the past and fight these chief enemies here and get one of the crystal chests. Oh yeah, I'll show you the boss fight. It's, it's quite easy. Nothing significant, they are just dying and can't do thing, but if you want to, here's the boss fight. <laughs> we are getting the last chest, we are getting the scrolls, and we are going into the future. We stopped the Great Wars, uh, I don't know if it's good or not. Let's check if it worked. We are getting the last soul stone. Ah, blyad. And now, in order to get this crystal chest, the last one, we gotta replay it a little bit differently to have the different outcome of the map that will allow us to get that chest. So we're finishing the adventure and starting the new one. Basically our goal right now is to get to the end as soon as possible. Uh, you can do the same stuff that we did before, fighting everyone, or you can just skip everything all together, it's up to you. Now we gotta move to the second village, clear this guy, get into the portal, into the past and save those guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna save this village from the enemies and kill those guys around the village. One guy down, another one to go, they are done, and now this village is growing, which spawns a new boss for us. After this, you can do whatever, you can fight all those enemies to get the relics, or you can go straight for the boss, that's what I will do, because, well, I'm strong enough for that, it will be faster. If you can't beat him, though, you might want to fight some extra enemies, but if you can take him down, you just go here and fight those guys. Slowly taking all those guys out, you saw it already how to do that, right? So you can do it. Last relic, and now with all of those guys out, we're taking out the Mauler team. They have 6.4 million, I have 9.2 without any relics, so it shouldn't be that hard, I guess. Unless it's not scaled, though. <laughs> so yeah, here's the boss fight, and uh, they're taking quite a beating. And the Shamira haven't released your ultimate yet. There we go, and they are going down like flies now, right? Right. Keep in mind that most of my team are wilder, so they have additional damage from the enemies and it doesn't stop them from destroying the enemy team. Done, and the last boss fight, fighting this crazy Hypogean team that is, well, not that powerful as well. Let's take them down, we have a tally against them. Well, actually, it doesn't matter, they, they are quite easy, shouldn't be that hard for you, specifically if you have a lot of AoE damage. So, yeah, they will die pretty fast. They're, they're taking them time, they're taking their time guys, not dying really fast, but slowly going down, there we go, and in this time actually saving the villages was a bad idea because that caused chaos and we managed to get this chest, so fighting this boss allows us to get to the last chest, there we go, depth of time, fully finished, ends in 13 days, just like normal Voyage of Wonders, I don't know what will happen after that, probably should be able to play it again. But yeah, that's how it goes. So guys, let me know in the comments uh, if you like this one, if you played it before in the times of uh, Voyage of Wonders adventure, I wanna know if you still like it, because I did. This was one of my favorite Voyage of Wonders. While you're going to the comments, please leave a like, subscribe to this channel, and make sure that the bell notification is turned to all, otherwise you might miss 
something. If you want any more guides on Peaks of Time or AFK Arena, they will be down here in the description and in the pinned command. The playlist is there with every video. You will love that. Also, you might want to join our Discord where we talk about everything and uh, we can talk to each other over there. That's pretty cool, right? And I would be grateful if you would follow me on Twitch because I'm streaming pretty cool PC games over there. Those are mostly pretty hard single player games where I have to challenge myself to get forward. Love that stuff. You will love it as well. And of course, follow all my social media. All the links are over here or in the description. Thank you for watching, guys. Soviet out. See ya, comrades. Bye.